And uh, here comes our next rider. Bonnie, where are we? Bonnie? We're in the living quarters. Would you call it living dining quarters? This yes. is the, the houses in those days generally consisted of at most two rooms and a small kitchen. This is the living room and it also uh, was the bedroom. Yes, multi purpose room. The dining room. This was built when, roughly? This was built 82 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I must tell you, the furniture is obviously not. But the other furniture, the beds, everything goes back. This is all vintage. Uh, yes. This is all from the same period. These, uh, this tapestry, I believe that she made. It's not she, one of her sisters made. The type of people that lived here were very, very special people. The head of the family was a person, I never met him, he passed away two years before I came. But I heard of him exceptional stories, a selfless person, a person that just gave himself because that was a fulfillment of, of what he had learned. There's a hospital nearby, the Shari Tzedek Hospital, it used to be here, now they moved. But in those days, if a poor person would pass away, and this head of the household would hear of it, if he heard that the person didn't have his own shroud to be buried in, he would take sheets off the bed and run to the hospital and give it. And it came to a point that the members of the family had to try to keep the information, keep such information away from him, because he was just such a selfless person. She, she gets a tiny bit of money from the government, but I must say that her, she, she has one child. Can we give Sadaka? Sure. She has one child. That one child has 12 she children. She's sleeping alone. It's quite big, heavy wooden bench or something. We don't have time, though. No, we're, we're, we're just going to look. 12 children. They have grandchildren. She now is a she now is a bobby of at least a hundred children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. She had one son. Tell her to come in. <laughs> but man, there's one thing she she's very careful. Whenever anyone comes into the house, she washes them food. Help yourself. No, 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 here, what do I do? You just uh, email the donate, please. Okay, hi. What's up? Hi. 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 Good. And look, look, look nice. No, no, you look nice. You look very nice. Yofi. All women are the same. They think they 
Well, we just stopped at Rachel's tomb. I can't go in because I'm a coin. But I uh, thought you'd find it interesting to see that the soldiers are here. Just listen to the commentary. And uh, if you didn't catch it, just across the street and up above, there's another group of soldiers watching out because we're in Bethlehem. And this is a hotbed. It's not exactly a great place to do to be. <clears throat> What's your name? Warwick. And you're, from, and you're from Australia? Originally. How long have you been here? 11 years. 11 years. Long time. Yeah, and what brought you here besides the plane? <laughs> well, this is, the pla this is the country for uh, Jewish people, I guess. Right. And Australia is kind of a boring place. So are you in the Miloim? Uh, is that how am I saying it right? That's right. So you got, through, what, 30 days? 30 days is our fourth time in, in uh, the Bethlehem area. So we know every alleyway and every corner and every street post around here. Yeah. And the, Bethlehem has how many soldiers uh, patrolling? Uh, I don't know exactly. Lot. But uh, a lot more than they used to. Yeah. It's a real center, center for uh, terrorist activity around here. Really? Yeah. Because there uh, are a lot of tourists and it's in the, it's in the eyes of the uh, of the world press, and so people are, uh, there's a lot of awareness about something happens in, Beth in Bethlehem or they're living on the front pages of papers all over the world. A lot of people still coming to Rachel's tomb? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's here. why we have uh, you and the fellows across the street and right. kind of watching out for us, eh? That's right. This is, uh, yeah. English? Yeah, where are you from? Israel? Yeah? Montebron. Near Maria. Ah. Uh. you? I'm from uh, California. Temporarily. The daughter of a coin, so why go in, right? No. I could go in, I know, it doesn't count, I don't want to go in. What? Ask her for Ask her. Yeah? Yeah. You use that to the math Got you on the bus, darling. So what was that? You're out. You couldn't come in, so I brought you something from inside. But, uh... We're looking eastward towards the Dead Sea. This is all the West Bank. Basically, it was Still unoccupied. Whoops! <laughs> ah, I just fell down, hurt my foot. I'm yeah. wounded on the West Bank. Okay, we gotta go. This is all unoccupied. It's been unoccupied even from 1948. So when George Bush says that we're driving the Arabs out, there's no Arabs here to drive out. Unbelievable. Just a vast wasteland. 
few Arab towns. The Arabs are all concentrated in specific towns. Uh, the kids go to school in um, in uh, Alon Shabut. I'll show you where there's a uh, a central um, school area. This is the heart of the Judean hills. You're in the heart of the Judean hills, and in back of you is a place called Tekoa. The prophet Amos yeah, is from homes. Tekoa. So this is an area of biblical prophecy. It is an area, since we're in the time of Hanukkah, it is an area that was heavily defended and lived in by the Hashmonites, by the Maccabees. So there were Jewish farmers here at the time of, um, of Hanukkah. Do you want to stop again to take a picture from this side of the bus? Yeah. Okay. To watch Gloria. No, I don't know. Now we're looking towards the Mediterranean. And again, what you're gonna see is the other side is just, again, a vast wasteland except for the settlements that the Israel, Israelis, the Jewish settlements that have been built. Other than that, there's not much out there. This is now looking towards the Mediterranean, as I indicated. And what's unbelievable, one minute, Bonnie. What's unbelievable is the houses that they're building here that we just took a look at. They're beautiful. Come on in. So we're just stopping. It would be a good idea if I took the lens cap off. We're just stopping at a kibbutz. We're seeing some of the girls who are in the Milloween. This is a training area. And uh, there's a new uh, soldier. Up oh, there she is. One of the newest soldiers in the Israeli army. Two, three, four. Okay. look pretty dilapidated uh, are simply the result of neglect. Jews lived here until 1929 when the riots, the same riots that wiped out that first settlement in uh, Gush Etzion, wiped out the entire Jewish community of Hebron. Here we are, just outside of Machkerat, the burial of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Rachel. We're looking back over here. I'd like to say a few things. Yeah? <laughs> you want to sing? Let me sing. No! <laughs> Yeah, it's recording now.